Sister Sandy. Um, wasn't planning on getting back in the hearing aid business, but I guess God had different plans. My heart's going a mile a minute right now, so bear with me. Um, but the boys came home, and I went. They wanted to go hang out with their friends, so I walked over there to meet the mother because I don't let my kids go to just anybody's house. And I sat there for like five hours talking to her, and she uh, was talking to me about her church, and then she asked me what I had done up north, and I told her I was a hearing aid specialist. And she said, oh, I'll have some, I have somebody you have to meet. They just moved here. And I ended up sick Monday and Tuesday. I had the same thing that brother Jerry and sister Sandy had. And then uh, Wednesday I was finally recovering, and she called me, and she said, they just called me, and they really want to talk to you. So I'm like, well, give them my number. And an hour later, I was on the phone with him. He said, I want you on Friday for an interview. So uh, I went in, and I was there for about 10 minutes. And he said, you don't have to worry about it. You've already got the job. You have the credentials we want. You have the, the drive, the desire. You know, you've already got the job. Um, I was kind of worried. I told Sister Sandy, I'm like, you know, if they say straight commission, I can't do it. Because in the slow months, I still have a family. Not only do I get commission, I get an hourly wage, not salary this time. Um, so if I work 60 hours, I'm getting paid for 60 hours. Um, and no traveling. So I'm very, and it's 10 minutes from the house. Um, but then better, um, I'll be starting off in Port Charlotte to open that office, and then they're going to be opening one in Venice. And he's, that's where he wants me long term. And I said, so it doesn't matter if I'm in Northport or if I'm in Bradenton. I'm still about 30 minutes from work. Amen. So God can put me where he wants me as long as I can stay in church because I told him that Amen. was a stipulation to be working there. Amen. I wasn't going to a different church. So when Sister Sandy was talking about, you know, a lot of times when we're in those dire moments, we sit down and we go, God, are you really mindful of me? Do you really hear me? You know, do you know where I'm at? Do you really listen to my needs? Um, are you going to take care of me? And I had talked to one of the sisters in Bowling Green, Kentucky, about a song that she'd written. And uh, I called her a couple weeks ago because the song was really on my heart. And I hadn't heard back from her because I'm one of those, I write music myself, I don't care who uses it. Use it for God, that's what it's for. But I don't want to offend anybody, so I called to ask her if it was okay if I sang it. And she didn't get back to me. And this was like three weeks ago, and I'm still like, well, why hasn't she called me yet? She called me yesterday while I was getting ready and said, go for it. And then when she said what she said, I'm like, okay, God, you were right on time again. So I'm going to try this. 